Hey y'all, haven't done a video in a while except for, you know, one recently when I was like going through a really bad night. But, um, this is the little foster kitten I gotta find a home for. He's so cute. He's got precious, precious blue eyes. How can you deny God's existence, right? These things don't just pop in and out of existence. God has intelligence in his creations. <laughs> it's amazing. Um, so, I really don't know what I'm going to say. I prayed ahead of time, and I hope God gives me something. But I kind of had an idea, and I felt something bubbling in my spirit, so I'm like, okay, just turn on the camera. And um, so, this was my thought, and I don't know what I'm going to say after this, but... I pray that the Holy Spirit helps me. Uh, maybe I'll just talk from my experience. I remember early in my walk, um, I had this idea in my head that God had this wonderful, great, grand plan for my life. And I was like, that thought like, made me like how start to have these well he does have a plan for my life he has a plan for your life too but i had like this thought that i'd be like some you know like joyce meyer or, or priscilla shire writing lots of books to help people or you know preaching like these ser sermons in front of all these people and um sometimes i i've learned in my walk that me and I think others have sometimes these false ideas of what the, we think God's idea is for our, our life. And um, I've learned to be cool with the fact that I don't know what God's plan for my life is. And I need to stop trying to focus or have a mentality of this great big plan for my life. Maybe God's plan for my life and your life isn't some kind of big master plan that we're like focusing on this big ultimate goal and In instead maybe we need to just focus on one step at a time putting one foot in front of the other it seems like an easy thing but it's really not and I think that we don't really know for sure what God's plan is for our life like I don't I don't know what God's plan is for my life I don't know I mean I can have all these ideas but we can be wrong but maybe what God's big plan is is for me to just the, to touch the people around me I'm doing and I don't say this to brag or bring attention or be like oh you're so great like good no it's just what God has doing in my life I just wanted to share that so, like, I have a thing once a week where I facilitate a Bible study at a boarding care. And, like, I'm speaking into these people's lives. And I'm showing them the best that I can, the love of Christ. And I'm trying to walk, you know, in love and, and tr be an example of Christ's love living through me to others around me. And I'll give out bookmarks, which I haven't done in a long time and i got to do. And scripture cards and like there's just like little little things that I do for and to the people around me and I was thinking the other day maybe that's God's big plan for me is is little things so, sometimes he calls people into doing something for the masses and sometimes he calls us to just walk alongside people individually and in, in my mind it was like it was a small thing and it wasn't important um but the, it, and that may come across real bad and sound bad but I, I had this thought in my head that i had like oh, i was going to be used in some kind of major way for all the people in the world you know like maybe that was pride but but like god revealed to me the other day that what I'm doing is tender and it's big. He loves it. He's so honored when I make those bookmarks and give them out to people. It touches his heart. 
Holy Spirit revealed that to me. And he also revealed to me that doing this thing, even though it's only once a week, even though it's only for an hour or two, an hour and a half, is a huge thing. It's huge. It's touching these people's lives. They're having truth spoken into them. And then they go out and touch other people's lives. So I guess what my whole thing on this video is, like I said, I didn't, I had a vague idea what I was going to talk about. Okay, and maybe I'm mixed up in my, I don't know how this is going to come out. Whatever, I'm just going to post it. So like, maybe God's big life is doing a bunch of small things that mean a lot, that are big. And, um... Maybe we shouldn't, you know, I don't know. I think other people that are watching this, maybe you have an idea in your head that God has a big plan for your life. But instead of focusing on the big plan, just focus on taking one step at a time and doing whatever God has given you at that time, being that willing vessel and doing those little things because those little things are big. It seems little, but it's big. It's big. And... Like, for example, if you go in to McDonald's and someone's having a really bad day and you ask to share the gospel with them and they receive Christ, it may seem like a normal little thing that you're doing, part of your Christian walk, you know, that you know, and you're sharing the gospel and you love Jesus, it may seem like a little thing because you're not writing a big book like like Priscilla Shire or speaking a sermon that millions of people hear around the world like Joyce Meyer but that person comes to Christ and then their whole family comes to Christ and their friends come to Christ and a whole lot of people are touched by the power of the Holy Spirit because you were at McDonald's that one day and you talked to Tammy who or Jill or whatever, whoever, you know, and they received Jesus. <laughs> and that was a little thing, right? But it was huge. So let's focus on taking one step at a time and instead of having a big idea of what God's going to do with our life. Let's just take one step at a time and do the little things that are really big things. Hope you guys got something from this. Praise God. God bless you. Bye-bye.